welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you my first Christmas themed video of the year. And today I am gonna be putting up all of my Christmas decorations. I have literally been waiting for this moment and this video ever since I moved into my apartment in January because I just missed Christmas. I moved in here like January 15th. So I missed Christmas by like three weeks and I really, really, really love decorating for Christmas. By the way, take a shot every time I say Christmas in this video and you have got yourself a banging drinking game. Like I said, I'm obsessed with the idea of decorating my own place for Christmas and I have always lived at home for that season. So, you know, I've had like a Christmas tree up here and there in my room and I've kind of put like little ornaments about but nothing big and nothing drastic whereas now I have my own place so I can kind of have my own theme and do what I want with it and oh my god I'm just so excited I did go decoration mad a little bit I'm not gonna lie I went on like Zara home H&M home I went to B&M I went on Wayfair and I actually M&S as well M&S has some really nice stuff and I kind of just raided the Christmas section but I didn't want to go for the kind of like classic red green sort of look I wanted to stick with the theme of my living room and go for a bit of like gold wooden and white and plus my mum always has kind of done that theme and I've always loved it so I thought I would uh carry the tradition up north and um do my apartment just like my mum did the house I rang my mum this morning actually and I said to her like oh my god I went to B&M and I got all this stuff and she was like you've copied me haven't you and I was like no I haven't copied you I don't know what you're on about and then I showed her some of the decorations on FaceTime and turns out we do actually have different decorations I thought we had the exact same um but we do have different ones so yeah I don't even really know where to start I'm going to show you what I've got and I also vlogged in B&M the other day because B&M has the most affordable but beautiful Christmas decorations ever. So get yourself to B&M because I ordered like, the majority of my Christmas stuff before I went to B&M and then I went there and I realised that the stuff that I paid, say like £8 for, I could have got for like £2 in B&M. So before you buy any of your Christmas stuff this year and even for presents, go to B&M. But yeah, I don't know where to start. I vlogged that so um, I guess you'll see that first and then I guess I'm just going to start putting up my tree. I feel like the tree is like a good solid place to start. Hey guys, we're at B&M. Look at my two drinks. Woo, we're about to go Christmas shopping. I'm so excited. This is the first time I'm decorating my apartment for Christmas on my own. Hi girls. Hi girls. We're buying Christmas. This is ever so exciting. Oh no. Look how tall I am compared to you guys. You're not even in the frame. So I'll give them I'm my mum off a, do you know that in Tom and Jerry where they cut all the heads off? Huh. Why are they got a straight frame? I want these ones. You get what you read. Yeah, they are. you are heroes or a celebration? Oh, cheese, but cheese. Heroes, and if you. Oh, actually, no. no heroes. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. All but celebrations is also I good, but I feel like I'm more of a hero. Because I love Cadbury. I'm passionate about both. I prefer a um, college street over any of them. Oh, you are. That's wrong. Oh, and you are. Why are not you on this? A super noodle bowl. Guys, I sound very stupid right now, but I literally was saying to Freya, I really hope that Flash do spray wiped on Christmas edition. Walked into B&M and they've got it. They've got apple spice. Where's the other one? Frosted berries, which I'm also going to buy. Sugar plum. And sugar plum. Happiness really when you're an adult is this. I just bought this uh, Febreze spiced apple one and where's it gone? Oh, it's a flora here. have got, I'm so happy, winter spice. Saw my mum get this the other day, so I'll just have to copy her. I'm not really sure how this has happened, but um, somehow the trolley is full because B&M has the best Christmas stuff don't go anywhere else just go to b &M. so this is my little collection of christmas decorations my tree is in this box and then freya actually wrapped for me a load of cardboard boxes for like presents that i'm going to put under the tree i need to get some gold ribbon and stuff because i bought some and it literally did one present like it wasn't big enough at all so they are all just boxes ready to go and then i've also got a load of stuff from b&m i feel like maybe i should do the b&m haul first actually because i got a load of like christmas cleaning stuff as well which sounds like odd but i think you guys are really gonna like it i've got a big b&m bag full of stuff here here. basically the reason I mainly wanted to go to the shop is because I know that like around Christmas time they all come out with, like Christmas themed cleaning products and I love the smell of them and I really wanted to get some nice smelling stuff so first thing I bought this isn't actually that exciting it's just some washing up liquid but it's limited edition apple uh Christmas apple scented so I thought that'd be really nice and then I got the Glade spiced apple and cinnamon limited edition room spray this was a pound which was bargain because it smells amazing and then I also got this my mum got me onto this like Sephora, it's like I said, it's concentrated multi purpose disinfectant. But I always put a little bit in the sink, like when I've finished, you know, like cleaning up the kitchen, whatever. Just put the put a little bit of water in, put some of this in, and it just fills the room with like a really nice scent. But they've come out with winter spice, and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna be using this all Christmas and all winter. So I got myself the big one, and this was four pounds. And again, it smells beautiful. And then the final two things that I got are probably the most exciting things 
because I am obsessed with the flashes spray wipe done. I basically did an ad for it like a couple of months ago now, like quite a few months ago. And as soon as I used it, I was like, this is the best cleaning spray I've ever used. So they've brought out two Christmas scents. They've got spray wipe hinged, which is the collab with Mrs. Hinge, which I have used before, but this one is now frosted berries, which I'm so excited for. And this one is apple spice. Literally, I was saying to Freya the day before we went to B&M, if they have spray wipe done Christmas edition, I'm gonna scream the shop down. And I wish you saw my reaction when I saw it. Byron was literally a himself and me and Freya because he was so excited so picked up two of these I love them could not recommend them more flash if you would love to sponsor me again I would love nothing more but I think step one of this process might be to unbox my tree because I haven't looked at it yet I got my tree from Wayfair and it's in this big box here so um let's unbox it and see what it looks like I didn't really know where to get a Christmas tree from because I don't have a car I could have got it from B&M which I didn't really think about but I was like okay I'm just gonna order one so I went to Wayfair and I found just the most beautiful tree like there's so many I don't think people realize how how many different trees there are out there that you can actually buy and again I literally just didn't know what one to go for because I was like isn't a tree kind of a tree but then the more that I looked I just found such beautiful ones and this one I would keep for you know for every single Christmas that comes around it was a little bit costly it was about I think it was about 190 pounds but I think when you see it you'll probably see why it costs so much because it's got loads of snow on it looks you know it looks beautiful and there's like acorns and stuff like or pine cones whatever built in to it already I basically just wanted like a really show-stopping tree because I know that the tree's also going to be in the background of all my videos okay I can see why it was so expensive this is beautiful wow the quality and it's got like glitter on the snow okay it's stunning i think it comes in three parts i ordered a six foot one they did do it in like five foot six foot and seven foot i thought we'd go in the middle we'll go six foot because i got byron to stand here the other day and i like, figure out like, how tall it was and he's about six foot so i think that's perfect so here is my tree oh my gosh she's beautiful i'm really gonna have to give my living room a hoover once to get in this out i also was debating getting a real tree this year but is that the bottom i think this is the bottom i'm actually glad that i did because I think it just would have been oh my god this is really heavy I underestimated that I think it just would have been too much faff oh my god it's going ah, it's so heavy oh my god oh my god that can't be the base that's not going to stand up surely not oh my god I was going to say the base is here I was like hang on a minute here how am I doing this I'm also covered in glitter okay this is really fun I need to figure out how to put this base up I think I have to screw it together or we'll do something like that Okay, I've done the base. Now I just need to try and slot this in. Oh my god, it's so heavy. No, hang on a minute. This is not happening. Right. <sighs> this is gonna take some hoovering. Oh my god. Is it going in? Why is it not going in? It surely can't just stay like that. Surely it has to go right the way down. So that's gonna move. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's in. <sighs> Oh my god, I'm absolutely covered. I'm just not going to worry about it until after because there's no point. Oh my god, now, do I put the whole tree together before? No, I'll start pulling the things out. This is a beautiful tree. Like, absolutely stunning tree. This was definitely worth the money. Even when you're pulling these out, they're already like, I don't know, they're just, oh my god. This is an amazing quality tree. I'm so glad I spent a little bit more on getting a really good tree because now I'll have this forever. This is the only thing I hate about Christmas, right? When you take all your decorations down, the house feels so bare and so empty because like now I've got this tree here, I would absolutely love a tree here 24 seven. Maybe I need to invest in some sort of like big living room tree or something because this has just made my living room feel automatically so much homelier. Like I cannot explain how beautiful it feels in here now. And it's got, it's not even got lights on it yet so i've got decorations on it got anything but it just oh my god i feel so happy like my mood has just shot up the only thing is like oh my god i hate putting the christmas tree lights on i really kind of do wish i got a tree with lights already on because it is such a faff how beautiful is this oh my god i'm gonna give you guys a close-up when i've got the top layer on oh my god it's stunning okay the final one is going in <gasps> Oh, she's so beautiful. I also just realized I don't have a star for the tree. So I do need to buy a star at some point. That was actually what I was meant to buy in B&M. And then I bought everything for a star. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I'm going to FaceTime my mum in a minute and show her before I put like any decorations on or anything. And she is going to absolutely love it. I was explaining to her what the tree was like. But I don't think she quite like understood what I was saying. Oh my God, this is beautiful. How nice is that? Yes, lovely. Wait till all the decorations and the lights are on it, but it's so nice. And oh, it's got a lot of snow. Yeah, I know, I'm covered in snow. Do you like it, Atticus? Yes, lovely. 
Have you got a tree skirt for it, Anna? No, but I'm putting presents all around it. I've got mum's seal of approval on the tree, so we are all good to go. I just plugged in the lights just to test the colour, and I actually went for warm white. I feel like every time I get, like, cold blue, like, LED lights, it just doesn't make me feel homely. But when I get, like, the warm ones, I love how cosy it makes me feel. So, I went for 300 lights, which I don't know if that's too many, I don't know if that's too little. We're gonna try, we'll see. I'm gonna put the lights on, like, the tree whilst they're switched on so I can see what they look like. And yeah, let's put lights on the tree. The lights are finally on the tree. That was the worst experience of my life and I am so glad that is over. I still need to position them so it isn't like their final position because you can still see a lot of the wires, but it looks so good. I am now gonna get all the baubles out, put all the presents underneath and basically just start to decorate the tree. But let me show you like from far back what it looks like. When you walk in the room now, it just looks so homely and Christmassy and wait till I've decorated this table as well and all the baubles are on it. Oh my God, it's gonna look so good. Obviously these are all fake presents. Um, which Freya has matched me and they're just literally old cardboard boxes. Like I said, I need to put some gold ribbon and some gold bows on them because at the moment they're just brown. But let's try and position them. I don't really know how they're happening yet, but we'll just see what works. That is perfect. When they've got gold bows on, that is gonna look so cute. I'm so glad I've done that. Instead of getting a tree skirt, I just thought that kind of looked more Christmassy because I didn't really know what type of tree skirt to go for. So I'm gonna order some gold bows literally as we speak so I can put those on tomorrow. And then that is the bottom of the tree all finished. Okay, so this year's baubles. I actually got the majority of my baubles from M&S this year. I didn't wanna get just like a plain pack of baubles. I could either fill the tree with like 50 plain baubles or just get like 20 or 30 really nice in intricate ones so I thought I'd go with that and I know I'm going to reuse them every year so this set was £19.50 and you get 20 in it and it's beautiful you've got some bigger ones around the edge and then you've got some smaller ones in the middle and then I also got this little set here which was £15 and these are like luxury luxury ones like these are stunning I absolutely love them and then off of Amazon I just ordered this pack of like pine cones like gold pine cone sort of thing and these were like £5 and then from Zara Home I actually got these ones here and these were the most expensive these were eight pounds each but i absolutely loved them as soon as i saw them i was like yeah they're gorgeous so i ordered those i'm gonna do what my mum does so my mum always starts with like the bigger pack first and then she goes in with the more intricate ones after so this is the first pack of baubles that i'm gonna put on the tree i actually just look at how beautiful this bauble is for a second i didn't realize they were this beautiful like the quality is amazing m&s come through First set of baubles are on and they look so good. So now I'm gonna move on to the second box. This is the second box. These are probably my favorite baubles ever. The one in the middle is absolutely beautiful. And that is my Christmas tree all decorated. All I need now is a star for the top of the tree and some gold bows and it will be finished, but the tree is so beautiful. I got just the right amount of baubles and they all look so beautiful against the colors in my living room. And the little acorns, I just, as you can see, just kind of place them all over the tree. But oh my God, I'm so happy. Wait until you guys see this lit up at night tonight. It is gonna look beautiful. So now it is time to decorate the rest of my living room. I've got the Christmas tunes on. I'm playing all along for Christmas is you and I haven't felt this Christmassy in a long time actually I didn't even feel this Christmassy last Christmas I am now going to decorate my dining table so basically I didn't really know what to do with my dining table because I feel like it's going to be obviously quite a centerpiece in my living room this Christmas it's going to be on camera all the time and I'm having friends around for dinner I'm having family up for dinner like I'm not hosting Christmas this year I am going home for Christmas but my family is coming up here at some point to obviously have like an early Christmas with me here and I'm hosting so I'm not hosting but I am hosting like I'm not hosting actual Christmas day. Anyway, I really wanted a nice table centerpiece. I knew I kind of wanted like a wreath sort of thing or like a green display, but then because my tree was more white and my living room is very like pampas and neutral, I was like, okay, how about feathers? Oh my God, I also just realized I have something else to go in the tree. I have feathers to go on the tree. Don't know if they're going to look right. I'll try them and we'll kind of like see if it's going to work, but um, I got them from B&M, so we'll see what they look like. But basically my wreath is from Zara and I'm going to put it in the middle of my table. It's not meant for a table. It's meant for like a door, but we're gonna make it work and then i've got like a gold candle also from zara to go in the middle of it this is what it looks like it is literally just a white wreath but as you can see i already have loads of pampas in the middle of my table so i kind of wanted to stick to that theme because i love what it looks like and i love 
how it matches my brown chairs. So this is the wreath. It's gorgeous. It was about £30 from Zara, like I said, and look at all the gold on it. It is just absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm obsessed. That was so worth the money, and that was so lucky that the candle fit in the middle, because it's not obviously meant for that. I've just kind of, like, made this myself. And I'm debating, like, do I actually burn the candle this Christmas, or do I save the candle for every Christmas, or do I just burn it? I mean, it was £40. I felt like I probably should burn it, but I'm definitely not going to start until December if I do decide to. But how nice does it look? Matches the tree and everything, and I also just swapped out that cushion there for a new one that I got from Pretty Little Thing. It was originally meant for the office, but I think it just kind of ties in with the Christmas theme more. So, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, right, let's decorate the rest of the living room. I'm going to show you what I've got left to put up. So, I've got this little tree here. This is actually real. It was from B&M, and it was £6. Just realised, and it comes with four little decorations as well to put on the tree. So, I think I'm going to put that one maybe by my TV. Maybe in the kitchen as well, because I need to kind of put some stuff in the kitchen. And I've also got this gold candle, well, white with, like, gold-tipped candle from Zara. And it's a Christmas tree. And then I've got this from B&M. This was £10. A nice little silvery gold tree with, like, a wooden trunk. I've got this that says... Merry Christmas on it. How nice is this? This is from B&M and this was £6. How cheap is that and how nice? And then I also got here this wooden reindeer. This was not down to £2.50. I was like, okay, that is incredible. I need to get that. And then I also got here another little tree, but this one's fake and this is from M&S and it was £9.50. The sun is blaring in today. Oh, and I also bought these as well. I need to put these on my tree. I bought two little reindeer decorations and they were £1.50 each and they're just like little white wooden reindeers. So I've got some of those. And then these are the things that I was on about. Hang on a minute, let me change this because the sun is blaring in. Oh, I got some crackers as well. Don't really know what I was going to do with those. I was maybe thinking about putting them on the tree, but I think that's maybe going to overdo it. So I might just like rest them on the presents. Oh my God, and I got one of these. Febreze, I got spiced apple. I'm going to change my Febreze over when I've done this. But these are the leaves that I got. And Byron was saying to me that I should get them because his mum puts them in the tree and apparently it looks really nice. So I bought them three pounds each and they're like a floristy pack of like golden leaves. And you get, I think, three in each. Yeah, you get three in each. So I've got six in total to maybe like stick out of the tree. Maybe, potentially. I don't know. I really like what the tree looks like now and I don't want to overdo it. But we'll see. We'll have a little play around. I just need to figure out where all of this stuff is going to go now and figure out what's going to go in the kitchen and what's going to go in the living room. Okay, this could potentially change, but I think this is their final position. So I've put the Merry Christmas sign and the big tree on the TV unit and then I've put the little gold and white candle on my coffee stand and then I've put the little wooden reindeer over there and I think that looks really good. It doesn't look too much. It's just like the perfect amount. I also bought this bad boy to put out somewhere, Yankee Candle Christmas Cookie. This is the best Christmas candle to ever exist. No arguments needed. These are the last little bits that I have to put put on the presents so I don't really know whether to put them on or not because I don't know if they're going to look too much. They're these like little flowery leaf sort of things that I can just kind of rest on them. Have these mini baubles that I could tape in the corner as well. I don't know if it's just to wait for some bows but I'm going to place the crackers all over these for £4. I wonder what you get in these actually. Does it say? I feel like it's been, well it has actually been a year since I bought a Christmas cracker. I used to love getting the fish. You know the fortune teller fish? That's my favourite thing to get. These are such nice crackers. I'm literally just going to place them like this. Kind of like on the presents and then it'll just kind of fill it out a little bit more yes this looks so good already just by doing that that looks so much fuller and i've just ordered some gold bows as well so they will be here tomorrow and um yeah that'll be the little christmas tree area finished also i ended up putting this tree here and i still need to put the little ornaments on it so i'm going to do that in a second and then in the background over there as you can see i put the christmas tree and the candle just so the kitchen has still got something but it's not like overly christmasy like the living room so i wasn't going to put the leaves on but i have just put three in the tree and i think it looks really good like it's just very subtle but i am kind of put one there there and there and now i'm gonna go with these three and put one there there and there and i think it adds something just so nice the tree i don't know i also added the little white reindeers and now all i need is the star and then it's literally gonna be complete and i am obsessed with it yes byron this was literally the best idea putting leaves in the tree i need to push that one in a little bit more actually sticking out quite a bit but v and m for these leaves oh my god they are beautiful it's complete i think i'm actually gonna get all my friends to put the star on top of the tree with me because i normally do it with my monasticus and it's a tradition that every year we always put the star on together so this year i'm gonna do it with all my friends but that is the tree complete oh my god i'm so excited for it to get dark now and i can get all cozy in the living room i, I can't believe that's my tree like i actually cannot believe it's mine i also need to get mum's reaction so um get ready for that i'm gonna facetime mum and show her we were, i was just watching your new video <gasps> were you did you like it yeah do you want to see my christmas tree yeah ready yeah okay you can open your eyes oh my <gasps> god do you like it 
It looks so good. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Yay, I'm glad you like it. I'm all decorated for Christmas. I officially feel like, I don't know, I feel so happy. They just walked into my living room like, oh my God, how is this my living room? This is my dream living room that I have wanted for so long. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just so, so happy with it. I'm now gonna chill while I've got some work to do, but I'm gonna stop filming and then I'm gonna come back later and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's all lit up at night. Just basically show you my apartment at Christmas and this is what you're gonna be seeing for the next month on my channel. Mm -hmm. 